Welcome to the video, and today I'm going to be unboxing a brand new Canon EF to RF adapter and getting my one year review at the same time. Now, I actually need two of these adapters now so we can do this. Before I get into the video, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Motion Array. If you're a content creator like myself and want to level up your video production, check out Motion Array. With pre made transitions, templates, audio effects, and even plugins, Motion Array has everything you need to make your videos look better. To get $50 off your annual subscription, check out the link below. Thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring the channel, and back to the video. First off, let's look at the box. It has the same exact box that I had a year ago when I bought the same thing, but I wish they changed it to match all the other Canon lenses and cameras like these guys over here. Now, I wish they did that just because it looks nice to be consistent, but it doesn't really matter because these are just boxes. So let's not worry about that. Let's open this box up right here. Inside, we can just open this and we should have some warranty information and a manual just like that, just some papers. It's super easy to use, so don't worry about this. And then we have the little bubble wrap it comes in. There we go. I actually forgot all about this, but these adapters do have this little carrying case, which is super nice. The other Canon lenses I have, like this Canon 16 millimeter, did not come with that. So it's nice that this little adapter comes with that. Inside, we have the adapter itself and comes in some little plastic material. And there we go. It's just an adapter. Now I can see, oh, that's interesting. The lens cap actually isn't fully on quite right. There we go, the lens cap wasn't on right at all. Okay, whatever. Uh, this adapter is basically the same as the one I had a year ago. It just doesn't have any scratches on it and is brand new. But after a week or so of using it, I won't be able to tell the difference at all. Now, here's the thing. The reason you want to get this adapter is to adapt an RF camera to an EF lens. This is Canon's adapter, and it is a little bit more expensive than some of the third-party options. But from my experience, it's worked with every lens that I've used on with every Canon body that I've used it with. So if you want to adapt EF glass to RF glass, this is really the best option to get. Now it is $120 for the base version, but you can also get versions with the control ring or a built-in ND filter. The ND filters are kind of cool, but it's $400 for that. And that's a little bit pricey. And as far as the control ring goes, I've never used the control ring, so I don't think it's really worth it. Just get the normal adapter. It's pretty simple. It just adapts EF lenses to become RF lenses and everything will still work like autofocus or stabilization. If you want to pick up this adapter and support the channel at the same time, check out the links below. And before you go, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Motion Array. If you want to take your videos to the next level, sign up to Motion Array today using my link and you'll receive $50 off your annual subscription. And you made it to the end of the video and that's awesome. If you have any questions about this lens adapter or any of the other gear we use, let me know in the comment section down below. That's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next video.